There's nothing that people love more than a well-rounded woman. That and a good quality card trick. Oh boy, so you better be on the edge of your seat because I'm going to show you a hot one. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, you should because I drop some hot ones, some hot card trick loads every day, um, sometimes. So you better do that. Uh, so here's a trick you could do with any deck. I chose to use this British Airway deck uh, for the, the British people watching my videos. Li like, like if you're British. Oh, oh boy. All right, so uh, here's a trick. Uh, you have the spectator shuffle the cards. And uh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, guys, we have a guest here. It's, it's YouTube megastar Casey Neistat. Oh, shit. Ra round of applause for Casey Neistat. This is a uh, this is a welcome uh, a welcome invitation here. Uh, hey Casey, how's the whole beam thing going? You good? Yeah. Um, not one for words, huh, Casey Neistat? Well, that's fine. I got, ladies and gentlemen, Casey Neistat, a YouTube superstar. Casey Neistat. I really never know who's gonna come in uh, through the doors here. Anyway, so we have the uh, the card trick. Yeah. God, the card card trick. So the deck is mixed and uh, the, the magician makes uh, three piles here with uh, just a, an arbitrary number of cards. Uh, the number of cards don't matter. Let's just uh, keep it fair here. And you tell the spectator to give them a little bit of a mix if they want. They can do whatever it is they want to here. But uh, ultimately you tell them to pick a pile and to lift off as many cards as they want from whichever pile they want. So let's say they, uh, they lift off these many cards uh, and cut right to the, the seven of fucking glare the seven of hearts right there uh seven of hearts they they're then told to put this pie on whichever other two of these piles they want so again free choice right here this is all about freedom of choice and from there they bury that card like um uh okay so uh now now there's no way that i the magician can know what card they picked so here if I give it a, a little bit of a deck, but I'll tell you what, using my intuitive ability, I'm going to eliminate cards uh, just right off the bat here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can eliminate half of them just right off the bat here using my intuitive ability to determine. Uh, it's not here. It's not here. Your card is definitely one of these. Uh, I feel it. I feel it, in, I feel it inside of me, uh, just like my uncle. Um, so here, uh, five of spades, five, sorry, five clubs. No, nah, no, nah, definitely, definitely not feeling it there. Seven of hearts. Definitely not feeling it. Ah, uh, oh boy. Um, two of diamonds? Fuck that. Fuck that two of diamonds. We don't need that two of diamonds. Uh, let's see. Jack of hearts. Nope. Doing this by, by feel here. Not the three of clubs. Definitely not the ace of hearts. Uh, sir, sir, if that's your preferred pronoun gender, what is, uh, for the first time, what's the card that you, you were thinking of here? The what? The, the seven of hearts? What do you think I am, huh? What do you think this is, huh? This is a card trick. My trick. You thought I was wrong and now I'm right. And now you feel stupid, which is the point of card magic. It's to uh, make the uh, participant feel stupid and you feel superior. Um, so here's how to do this trick. Here's how to do this clever trick right over here. Uh, well, firstly, it's not an arbitrary number of cards. It's exactly 15, exactly 15 cards uh, because we're gonna do what's known as the free cut principle. Yeah, that's right. Uh, old mathematical principle dating back to the caveman days where cavemen were doing this with leaves and uh, used bits of, of tree bark. Uh, so here what we do is that we make three piles of exactly five cards each. Uh, the reason for this is because this is gonna allow for a mathematical principle to make its way in here to do pretty much all the work for you apart from um, a double lift. Yeah, that's right, the, uh, the, the great friend of all card magicians, the double lift, lifting up two cards as one, showing two cards as one, when really, you're hiding the top card. Are the greatest, greatest innovation in magic since um, Shin Lim. So here we go. We have the spectator pick up any pile they want and mix it up. And uh, at this point, you're more than welcome to have them cut it off in their hands. I, I uh, personally pronoun prefer uh, them to leave the, the, the 
the pile on the table and cut however many cards they want. They, of course, memorize the card they cut to, which is in this case is the Ace of Spades. And they're told to put this on whichever other pile they want. And they go ahead and do that. And then to bury that card. And of course, you tell them that they could have cut anywhere. And that affected the position. You could say whatever it is you want. It's not true. Uh, if you follow that procedure, their card is always going to be the 10th card from the top here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the Ace of Spades. So it's always going to be the 10th card because of that free cut principle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. If you're not liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting, then you, my friend, are probably uh, non-binary and offended by my jokes. To TBH. So here the card is 10th. From the top so what we're going to do is that we're going to eliminate half of the cards here by dealing them back and forth starting with the left so what this does is that this is going to deal two piles of cards here and uh the cards in this pile are obviously are not going to be their card because their card is now third from the top of this half right here the ace of spades so here's where we proceed you say you're going to use your intuitive ability to eliminate uh piles uh, uh right here fuck this pile right here you don't need that pile that pile is like that uncle in that game closet. This pile, this is where it's at. So here we're going to go for the classic sucker trick here where we say, I feel your card is one of these. Of course, as I score this up, I'm getting a break, putting my little pinky in there, under the third card in preparation for a double lift, which I'm going to do in a moment. So I lift the top card, turn it over on top of the deck, call attention to it and say, oh, three of clubs. Nah, nah that's, that's not your card. That's definitely not your card. Here we do the double lift. Whatever double lift you want, you could do it that way. You could do it this way. Uh, not that way, sorry. You could do it uh, one of these. You could do one of those. One of, um, whatever it takes to lift two cards off as one and not show that they're two cards uh, being shown as one. So you show the ace of spades. You say, ah, no, ace of spades. I don't think that's it. Of course, the spectator at this point is going to be giggling with excitement because they think that you've already messed up the trick here, but really the ace of spades is on top of the deck. So now we're going to reverse count all these cards, take the last one, turn it over, and say no, not the nine of diamonds either. Oh boy, my intuitive ability here is never wrong. So now the ace of spades is going to be this card right here all the way in the bottom. So what we could do is dis displace these cards right here. You see I'm switching the two bottom cards, as I say, not the five of clubs. I'm not getting anything from there. Uh, let's see. Now the top card, four of clubs. Nope. Until we're left with two cards. Of course, the spectator, giddy with anticipation here, when you turn over the right card here and say, I don't think it's a queen of diamonds either. I'm left with one card here that I've determined by my intuition, sir. What is the name of your card? Of course, they're going to say, ace of spades. Ha! You got it wrong. It's in here. And you go, are you sure? And you turn it over and you show that you were right all along. And they go home and they feel stupid. Uh, they tell their wife or uh, husband or um, whatever uh, significant other that you, they, they felt stupid today because of a card trick. And this is that card trick. So you guys now know the great, uh, great way to do that. Well, that's, that's the trick. You guys practice it. It's a little bit of um, self-working. You don't have to do a double lift. You could just find their card knowing the fact that it's 10 down uh, and then third from the top when you're dealing back and forth. It's, it's a hot one. You guys learned that. You guys show your friends and family uh, and then tell them about Pig Cake because why not? They deserve the secret too. I'm going to go figure out different ways to nail myself to a dumpster. See you again when I see you. Shine, 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 shine.